Hi, I'm going to do a quick walk around of my 2019 SR5 Toyota Tacoma in cement gray with my Project M setup. Um, had a few people just wanting to see everything I've done, and so uh, yeah, thought I'd put together a quick video. So we'll start with a quick look at the suspension and tire upgrades I did. Um, for tires, I went with the Geolander, uh, Yokohama Geolander XATs. Uh, not super aggressive. Um, they're on stock wheels and uh, come out at about a 32 inch diameter, which is a little bigger than stock. I think they look nice on the truck. They work great. They're not super noisy on the highway. Um, and after I did an OV tune on the engine, uh, it's or VF tune, whichever, it uh, ended up smoothing it out, making it run better, making it shift better. So I've been ha really happy with them. Um, taking one light off-road stuff and they work great. The uh, suspension is a Falcon suspension, front and rear, um, with Emu springs. And uh, so far, that has worked great as well. I will put the specific models and everything in um, the description. The uh, I have to thank Mule Expedition Outfitters for doing amazing work on all of this. So, so that's uh, wheels, tires, and suspension. The Project M has been a great add to my truck. Um, I do a lot of dog sports. I do search and rescue. Um, I like to camp. I like to go off road and I like to travel. And so this has been a great addition. Uh, I didn't want a full blown camper because of the weight. Uh, this thing starts out at like 350, 370 pounds, then goes up as you add stuff on. I'm probably 450, I think I've added about 100 to 150, maybe 500 pounds of stuff um, between solar panel and controllers and, and other stuff that's in the truck. Um, but all totaled with the suspension upgrade, that's barely noticeable. I did get it with the um, ARB awning. So it comes with a six foot by eight foot awning, um, which is really nice. It does have a light. Um, and it deploys very easily, stores very easily. Uh, it's fairly stable in wind. I've been actually surprised. It does have the legs with the ability to stake them down. I don't have a stake down right now. And you can guy it out as well. I also have the wall kit. So there's a, a wall that slips into this rail and then provides additional windbreak and or sun protection. Um, I did get windows on each side, uh, sliding windows on each side, as well as the track. Um, I've got track on both sides of the camper and I love it. It's great for temporarily attaching stuff, hanging garbage bags, hanging stuff off the side. Um, it just gives me an, an easy attachment point that means I don't have to drill into my camper. That always makes me happy. Um, I have this set up right now just to show what it looks like when we're camping and stuff. Chairs, I've got one of those wheel tables. Um, this is the aluminum one, it's really lightweight and um, I really like it. It's stable. It doesn't move, um, it's pretty sturdy, and uh, yeah, it's good enough to eat at or work on or grill or whatever you want to do. So as we come around to the back of the Project M, um, you'll notice I did change out the badging on the Project M. I didn't like their big plates of how they branded it, so I made my own. Um, I still want people to know that it is a four-wheel camper. I want people to know it's a Project M. I just wanted something a little more subtle. So these are actually reflective stickers and uh, able to cut them out and mount them up. So on the back, you see there's lights. Uh, these are really bright, they're LED. They run off of my onboard battery and solar, which I'll show you in a minute. But the biggest thing we've added most recently is one of the Alucab 270 degree awnings. And as far as we know, um, I'm the first one to do it. So it's kind of been an experiment. And I again have to thank Mitch and the team at Mule Expedition Outfitters for all their support and help in trying to figure this out. They redesigned and reworked one of the uh, set pair of their brackets to try and hold, uphold the weight. And then now they're going to do some more based on what I've learned from my install to make it easier for people in the future. So I'm really excited by that. Uh, again, with that track, one of the benefits of the T-Track is I have my attachment point for the back side of the 270 awning is here and this is just a thumb screw so I can remove this when I'm not using the awning and take it off the side of the truck and free my track up for other stuff. 
Um, the awning is amazing. I'm going to take you for a quick tour of it. I do have the extra legs and the room walls, so I do need to install those yet. But um, it is free standing. It's a little bit of breeze today. I have no legs out, and it, it sits fine. Um, if it was windy or raining real heavy or I wanted to put the walls up, I could drop the leg and it would add stability. Um, but it's definitely not not a gotta have. It's pretty heavy um, material in the awning and uh, it's sun reflective so it's even cooler than normal. Um, the bag is up here and um, as you can see this is what attaches here. The 270 mechanism. This is the bracket. It just attaches to the jack brackets on the truck. And then uh, this is the piece that I had to modify. Um, I put in a pin. It's just a cotter pin and post here, locking pin. These were these are supposed to hold by friction, and they kind of do. I mean, right now they're holding fine, but I found that as soon as I deployed the awning, um, it was hard to get these tight enough that they wouldn't just slowly fall down. So um, by putting in the cotter pin, it just gives me that extra bit of security that it doesn't just randomly tip over on me, especially if it's a little breezy. Uh, the other plus was I did not have to drill any extra holes. Uh, the stock holes worked, so I was able to attach it at the fixed end um, with uh, in the middle holes. There's three sets of holes, and I found the middle holes work great for giving me the clearance on the uh, on the mount on the arm to swing around to the back. Um, and then down here, I was able to use this set of holes that already existed, were already drilled, and uh, mounted onto this arm. So all totaled, it worked really well. The tray uh, holds really well. It's sturdy. It doesn't move. Um, it's not too bad. I was actually able to lift it and move it around on my own. So it's probably, I don't know how much it weighs, maybe 65, 70 pounds, um, but was able to get it up and mounted on my own. But I really like the awning. It's got great coverage. So it gives me driver's side coverage as well now. So I have basically coverage on all sides of the vehicle except for the front. Um, again, I do dog sports. So anytime I can create shade over these windows and create spaces to be outside, it's great. And um, yeah, I'm just really, really happy with it. Um, it was not cheap. It was a challenge to install. Probably if I had it to do over again, I would actually have Mule uh, install it for me. Just because, I mean, I, it was doable, but I would have stressed less if I'd had them do it. So, but again, I have to thank them greatly for their support. They answered tons of questions. They put up with me bugging them almost every five seconds because um, I was just worried I was gonna really muck something up and, uh, and they were just super kind. So um, yeah, I'm just really happy with this setup. One additional piece I will note is that my gate actually has different um, shocks. So if you have a stock M, um, your gate, your, your rear hatch actually goes up higher. So you will have to be aware that you will impact this beam. Um, and so you'll have to play with your, your tailgate and how you put it up and down. Um, mine only goes that high because I had to put heavier shocks on. So um, yeah, just be aware of that if you have a project down. Um, you, will, you will need to be conscious of how far up this uh, rear hatch goes. So the next thing I want to talk about are my steps. Um, I am not a big one for crawling in and out of the back of my truck. And so I wanted steps. So I got these easy hitch steps. They're made uh, here in the USA by a really nice family. Um, I'll put the details in, my, in the description. I don't remember exactly where they are in the US, but um, they do great. They were great communicators. We had conversations back and forth. They helped me get the right thing. Um, you'll notice I do have the three steps set up and um, I'll lift up the hitch here. So what's nice about these is that they do um, fold up. So if you grab them, they just collapse right up and then you've got your license plate displayed and they lock really good. Not going anywhere. They have a positive catch. 
so you can just drop them back down again. Um, I have this set so that that step is just below the height of the tailgate so that I can have them all the way in. So this is just on a standard hitch loaded in and I can drop the tailgate without it, without worrying about it hitting that top step. If I put the 18 inch extender in, a uh, hitch extender in, these come out beyond the tailgate and then I literally can just walk up and into the truck. However, because of the height on the tailgate or on the hatch, you have to be all hunkered over and it's just, it ends up not really being perfect. So um, I end up leaving them in this configuration a lot, which means I probably could have gotten just the two-step version. Um, but hindsight's 2020. I like the options, the flexibility, and uh, mostly I just step up on these and then kneel on the tailgate and get into the truck. But I really do like these steps. So the next upgrade I want to talk about is my mountain hatch tailgate insert. Um, been really happy with this. It creates a smooth kneeling surface for getting in and out of the truck. Made in America. Um, has a cup holders, place to set cups that they won't slide away. And um, basically it's food safe plastic. So if it's clean, you could use it as a cutting board. Um, I just use it as a place to set my stuff and, and kneel on. Um, but it works great. It's nice to have, makes getting in and out of the truck way more comfortable and it's a lot less painful than kneeling on the stock stuff. Then the other thing I did, because this doesn't really seal up back here, is I did put in a tailgate seal. This is kind of hard to see, it's a little dirty, but it's a rubber gasket that goes across the bottom to keep out that dirt and water. And then uh, also up the side to help close in the tailgate. Not a professional job, I did it myself, but it's good enough and it does really help with water and dust egress. Because this is just a topper, it doesn't seal up. It's not going to come sealed up, so be prepared for that. Um, and you just, you know, you got to adapt. And uh, the little tailgate sealing kit really did work pretty well. Another upgrade in the bed that I'm really, really happy with is my bed slide. So I got a bed slide 1000 CL. Um, I also put in their little bed liner carpet thing. And um, this makes a nice surface for walking on when you're sleeping in the camper or in the topper and um, gives you a little insulation, pads, loads. Um, I don't really use the truck for cargo, cargo stuff, mostly for hauling my gear, uh, me, my dogs. And so, um, yeah, it's really nice. The slide is really nice because pulling it in and out, I can load without having to crawl in and out of the bed of the truck all the time. And so I really like it. And then I have the side boxes for organization and there's rails and there are tie down points. So overall, it's great. It pulls all the way out and slides all the way in. So I really, really like it. Another add on was my Dometic CFX fridge freezer combo. Um, actually it just has two cooling boxes and you can set them up as two fridges or two freezers. Uh, this is the 75 liter gallon. I don't know what size they they listed in but uh it's a 75 and it plugs into my power over there and uh which i'll talk about in a second and that uh, allows me to power it and it it sips electricity it's very efficient it's super awesome that way um and been really happy with it the next thing i'll talk about is my power setup in here so i did have the topper wired for electricity and then mule expedition outfitters uh rigged me up with power and so i have a I think it's a 160 watt solar panel on the roof that ties into my Red Arc um, controller. And this controller, I can watch, I can see what my solar is doing, um, whether it's charging, if it's full, how, what my draws are, how much power is coming in. It's a nice little thing. They set it up, programmed it all for me. Uh, I do have the manuals, I can play with it myself. And uh, there's a little bit of room for maybe some expansion if I needed to later. but. Uh, it does have a shore plug so that if I'm camping somewhere or parked somewhere that does have power, I can literally plug in and charge my pa battery. They also put this little extra USB panel in, um, USB and 12 volt panel. So I have two USB ports, um, a little voltmeter here lets me know what I'm drawing, and then just a straight 12 volt hole. Um, and this is, can be, this can be turned on or off so it's isolatable which is nice, isolatable, I don't know if that's a word. And then of course the mule bracket that uh, they build and they use. 
Um, this is my 100 amp hour battery down here. And it just sits on the, it's mounted in and strapped in, but it sits on the wheel well. And that's worked really well for me so far. And my wiring is all up under there, protected, so that it's not going to get snagged or yanked on anything. The camper also comes with lights, which are nice. And with lights, there are four of them, two forward and two back. And uh, they are reachable from within the bunk. Cat is optional, um, but they are reachable when you're laying in the bunk and um, they're great for light because they're dimmable. You can turn them way down if you don't want to have a whole bunch of light and you can turn them way up if you need a lot of light. So it's really cool. And then I only got one fan. It's kind of hard and it's a Dematic. Um, works great. It's manual. So hand crank um, and then it is powered, so you can pick your fan direction, set your speed, and it works really good. Um, apparently, on the newer one, on the newer uh, toppers, they're actually putting in the ones that you push a button and it even lifts the it lifts the hatch and everything, and it's got the sensors and it's a little more automatic. So that's an upgrade from what my model is, but I'm kind of happy with the manual; it works fine. And uh, it really moves the air in here, especially when the windows are open. And so you get really good airflow. It stays really comfortable in here. Another thing I have is I have my axe mounted. Um, so I got the airline track inside as well as the L track outside. And so this allows me to use these fittings that just mount stuff up. So I can take this up or take it down depending on what I'm doing with the truck. And um, Let's me carry my axe and my shovel. And I have a leather cover coming for the blade to help protect everything in here. When you uh, get the L-Track, it comes with several of these um, uh, tie-down straps, ratchet straps, which are really nice. And uh, they come and they're already on the hardware for the uh, L-Track. So you can ratchet strap stuff down. This is an uncharted supply company 72 hour box uh, that I carry in the truck as well as my uncharted uh, emergency bag. But um, it uh, lets me ratchet it down onto the 13 inch ledge that's on the side and uh, fits perfect, rides great and is very nice to have accessible. Um, and then also I have um, some of these loops. Uh, I got several with the camper when I bought it, but I also bought more since just to have. And um, I can use them to hold my leashes. I have uh, tie down straps. Use a rock strap and small five gallon uh, propane tanks for my propane source. And yeah, so that works really, really well. Of course, I have to show off my Grogu curtains. Um, hopefully soon I'll have them for all the way around on the lower part, but uh, I'm a Grogu fan. Sorry, Star Wars. But uh, yeah, they work pretty good. I uh, just got these metal plates that uh, are for cell phones and then a little bit of glue. Uh, the adhesive that was on them wouldn't hold, so just use a little super glue, glued them on. And then these rods are just magnetic and they hold pretty good. Yeah, they're just magnetic and they hold pretty good. And then the last thing I'll show you is what the cat's laying on. So it's currently deflated, but when it's out, it's a full queen size um, or full size, I think, not necessarily queen size, um, full size exped mat. So the 15, so it's the really thick one, works really good. And um, this bed pulls out and it makes a queen size bed. So it's super nice. Another upgrade in cab that I made was this Expedition um, power bar that I installed. Um, it installed really cleanly, really nicely into the dash. Um, did require some disassembly, but it really wasn't too bad. And it's got spots for four RAM balls and then two USB, uh, high speed USB ports. So high powered and um, yeah, it's really nice for holding the GPS, cameras, phone, everything. And uh, it was an easy install that's clean and uh, really looks nice when it's done. So thank you for joining me for this quick walk around of my Tacoma and my Project M install. I hope you found it to be a useful information and uh, please feel free to let me know if you have any questions or want to know any more specific details. I'd be happy to share it. Thank you!